If you like my content, please like and click on the subscribe button. Click on the drop down and select all to see regular updates. Hello all, welcome back to my channel Data Sculptor. Today we are going to see another interesting question which is asked in one of the interviews for Meta. So the question is, you have a table called user actions and it has four columns, user ID, event ID, event type and event date. So user ID is a distinct, distinct uh, is a set of users. Event ID is something uh, for every event an ID is generated. And event type, you have uh, three types of events. Uh, sign in like and comment and event date is when the event has uh, uh, occurred so if you see the data for user id 445 um, user has signed in on um, may 19th user has liked on may 31st and again user has commented on uh, uh, 5th of june and again user has signed in on 8th of june so if you see uh, so the question is you need to list out the number of active users per month. So active users per month is uh, you need to calculate a user can be uh, counted as active if he, he or she has uh, an event type of like or comment in two consecutive months. So 445 user ID has a like in May and 445 has a comment in June. So 445 ID will be counted as an active user in the month of June. And similarly, if you see for ID 648, 648 has a like on May uh, 19th, again like on June uh, 18th, and uh, like like on uh, 18th July as well. So 648 for the month of uh, June uh, will be counted as an active ID because 648 has a like or comment in both may and june in two this is two consecutive months and also 648 will be considered as active id in the month of july because he or she has a like or a comment in two consecutive months that is june and july and 742 if you see 742 just has a sign in on uh, may but uh, no like or comment in may and but and has a comment in june so 742 will not be considered an active user because it does not have a like or comment in May. So hope you understand the question. So now let's see how we can solve this. So first is I'll write a simple join. Here we need to use self join. Since we have only one table, we can use self joins. We have to use self joins from select from user actions A and inner join user actions B. So here what I'll do, I'll join on first the user ID a dot user id is equal to b dot user id so let's see what we are getting while we run this uh, select statement so if you see 445 uh, id is being uh, joined on um, uh, multiple so 445 has four rows and each of the row is getting joined multiple times so what we'll do let's do an order by order by use a dot user id so if i run this so what is happening 445 is coming 16 times because uh, 445 has four rows and it is a cartesian product is happening uh, with the same user id so now what i'll do i'll add one more uh, and and um, since we want to count the number of active users uh, per month so what i'll do and month of a dot event underscore date is equal to month of b dot event underscore date minus one so here what i'm doing uh, so here in the first row i will consider the fifth fifth month and in the second join i'll consider the sixth month since we want consecutive uh, months, we have to consider May and June, and similarly June and July. So in the A, A, I mean in the first join it should be the uh, previous month. In the second join it should be the current month. So when I run this, some of the rows will be still eliminated. And uh, let's see order by order by A dot user ID. So when we use this, 
um, let's see how, how the data is getting filtered so if you see uh, user id 445 uh, user id 445 is having a like and sign in on on may as discussed and also uh, comment on uh, june and similarly like and sign in on may and sign in on june okay so now since uh, we still want to filter out this data because we'll consider a um, a user id as active user only when uh, event even event type is either sign in like or comment so we can do it in two ways so we can write the uh, the filtering condition in the inner join itself because we are not uh, using any other joins so first we'll do this and a dot event type not equal to sign in so when I run this what are we getting so here um, in the first uh, in the left hand side of the table we are getting only like or comments and on the right hand side we are getting comment like and sign in so still uh, this sign in will, st still, will still not work so still what we have to do and b dot event type not equal to sign in so if we run this what are we getting so yeah if you see here 445 user is um, um, having a like in may and comment in june so 445 is a active user in june and similarly 648 is having a li uh, like in may and like in june as well as a like in june as well as like in july so as per this logic um, so let's see in the original table uh, if this is uh, if this this data is correct or not so if we validate what we are getting uh, 445 and 648 we have validated so let's see for other users 742 742 will not work because uh, 742 does not have a like or comment in May and similarly for 745 745 will also not work because um, so it does not have a like or comment in June so this is the correct um, the correct data so now if I run this so what we have to do still we need to get the uh, month so month of um, here we need to take the B dot event ID because this is the um, uh, latest month and this is the previous month so we want to count the data for the latest month because we are we are valid we are counting the data as per the latest month in the previous month so month of b dot event underscore date as event month comma count of b dot distinct sorry distinct b dot event uh, user id user underscore id as user count and now i'll keep this in um, group by we have to keep this in group by group by month of the event date so if we keep this so if you see in the event month of six we are having two user count and event month of seven we are having one user count so now in earlier we have kept this uh, as explained earlier event types condition in the and clause now let's keep it in where clause and see if both are working the same or not so even in where clause also it will work but uh, as a best practice i would suggest you to keep this in and clause itself because as per the order of execution first the from condition will happen then the join conditions after that the where conditions will happen if you are having multiple joins so what will happen it is always good to reduce the data in uh, in the joins itself rather than uh, pushing it to the last in the where conditions so this is how it works and now you might have a question what will happen if we keep just the uh, instead of using the month function what will happen if you just keep the event date will it still will it give cor the correct result it will not give the correct result because we need the granularity at the month level and not at the date level so we have to always use the uh, month level month of b dot event dot so this is a question uh, which is asked in uh, meta interview uh, so hope you all like the question 
so you can also uh, write it using cts so in the first ct you can filter out for the months and second ct also you can filter out and uh, uh, i mean you can filter out for like and comment and second ct also you can filter out for like and comment and then join uh, but uh, i would not suggest that because we can uh, easily do this here and instead of creating cts and all that is very clumsy and big code and this is a small code and a simple code so if you have any other better solution you are always welcome to keep it in the comment section and as usual if they, if i like a particular solution which is not which is which, which is not the solution i will call out on the next day when the video is posted so hope you all like this video and also my expression and uh, if you like my video please like share and also subscribe to my channel and uh, also one more thing uh, i have added the feedback form uh, in the description of every video so i would request every viewer to provide the feedback so that it will help me grow the channel thank you have a nice day